Hi friends, uh, welcome to our video from Edupedia World in our series on logical reasoning. The topic we will be covering today is uh, sequences and series. Now uh, there are primarily three types of uh, series that we will be covering. Number one is uh, number series where you will have numbers in order and you have to find the missing one. The second type is called alphabet series. So instead of numbers, you will have letters over here, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. And then we have a combination of the two that we will call mixed series. So in this video series, uh, we will look at a few examples of uh, all the three types of number series. And I will also be sharing uh, techniques with you on how to attempt uh, these questions. So uh, first up, let's take a look at number series okay so you have an example on your screen which number comes next in the following series and you've been given four numbers now that is 16 49 then there's a blank now then you have 169 and you have 256 now uh, friends to solve these kind of questions i would like you to do a few exercises as homework okay and after that you can come back to this video and you can solve these. Uh, I would like you to first of all remember squares up to 30. That means you should memorize the square numbers up to 30 from 1 to 30. So you should know that the square of 5 is 25, square of 10 is 100, square of uh, 24 is 576, so on and so forth up to 30. And you should know cubes of numbers up to 10. Okay, so know what is 1 cube up to 10 cube. Okay, if you know these, it becomes easier because other than that, it is only pattern identification that will come with practice. I'll take you through a few examples over here, uh, which will cover the different types of uh, you no know, relationships between numbers, but you will have to practice on your own to uh, become proficient in solving these kind of problems. Now, in the particular problem on my screen, uh, if you see 16, 49, 169 and 256 you will notice there is one similarity over here and that similarity is that all of these numbers are squares they are all square numbers 16 is the square of 4 49 is the square of 7 169 is the square of 13 and 256 is the square of 16 so I immediately analyze that I have 4 square followed by 7 square followed by a blank followed by 13 square followed by 16 square. Now the difference between 4 square and 7 square is 3 numbers from 4 I am jumping to 7 then from 7 I am jumping to 13 a difference of 6 numbers and from 13 square I am jumping to 16 square again between 16 and 13 it's a jump of three numbers so i have a jump of three between 16 and 49 and a jump of three between 169 and 256 and there's a jump of six over here which is justified because i am skipping a blank so it should be four squared seven squared seven plus three ten squared ten plus three thirteen thirteen squared and thirteen plus three sixteen so sixteen squared so this number here should be the square of 10. That's how I identify these uh, series. And I know that the square of 10 is 100. So the correct answer will be option C. 100 is your answer. Let's take a look at another example. In this series, which number will come next? So I have 27 followed by 125 followed by 343 followed by a blank followed by 1331 now um, these are all cube numbers okay, so 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 3 cubed 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 5 cubed 343 is uh, 7 into 7 into 7 so you can see a pattern it is 3 cube 5 cube 7 cube then this should be 9 cube and this should be 11 cube. Is this 11 cube? It is 11 into 11 gives me 121. 
and 121 into 11 will give me if you just do a quick calculation it will give you 1331 so this should be the cube of 9 okay so pause this video and calculate and see what you get right so i hope you paused it and you calculated that now 9 into 9 gives you 81 81 into 9 gives you 729 so your answer will be 729 that's option c okay, now these were pretty straightforward we are just dealing with squares and cubes sometimes uh, the relationship is slightly more difficult to decipher such as this example now which number comes next in the following series so you see that the series are you know it is increasing exponentially a small number 4 then a much bigger number 32 then a much bigger number 256 then there's a blank and then there's a very big number 16384 so whenever you see this kind of a series most probably it is a geometric progression okay that means i am multiplying the number by another bigger number so uh, 4 over here 4 is 2 squared okay also keep in mind the powers of 2 up to 10 that means uh, 2 to the power 1 is 2 2 squared is 4 2 cubed is 8 so on and so forth so i know that uh, 2 squared is 4 then i know that 32 is 2 multiplied by itself 5 times okay you land up at 32 if you multiply 2 so or in other words 2 to the power of 5 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and again into 2 you get 32 then 256 will be see 32 is 2 to the power of 5 so the next doubling 2 to the, to the power 6 will give you 64 double it again 2 to the power 7 will give you 128 and double it again 2 to the power of 8 will give you 256 okay so i have 2 squared 2 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 8 so at every step i am increasing 3 powers just check if 2 to the power 11 is 16384 uh, from this one 256 that is 2 to the power 8 i can calculate uh, this will be again into 2 into 2 into 2 some uh, this was 5 8 okay this was 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 8 and uh, something and then 16384 so let me check what power of 2 is 16384 so i'll do 256 into 2 so i get 512 that is 2 to the power 9 then uh, again into 2 i'll get 1024 that is 2 to the power 10 again into 2 that is 2048 that will be 2 to the power of 11 uh, again into 2 that will give me 4096 that's 2 to the power of uh, 12 then i get 8192 that is 2 to the power of uh, 13 and then again into 2 will give me 16384 that is 2 to the power 14 so i have 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 8 then a blank uh, since i am increasing the power of 2 by 3 at each step so this should be 2 to the power of 11 and then this is to the to the power of 14 and as i calculated 2 to the power of 11 gives me 2048 so uh, just do these three things and uh, your life in reasoning and mathematics will become much easier just remember squares up to 30 cubes up to 10 and remember powers of 2 up to 10 that means 2 to the power 1 up to 2 to the power of 10 what are the values this will be much easier to calculate let's see this example now, which number comes next in the following series so your numbers are 20 42 86 174 and some number after that so there is no decipherable relationship over here these are not square numbers these are not cube numbers or uh, these are not powers of 2 or powers of 3 so in these cases just pay attention to the gap so what is the gap between 20 and 42 it is 22 then what is the gap between 42 and 86 it is 44 so i see that the gap has doubled the gap between the first two numbers was 22 whereas the gap between the second two numbers is 44 so i have doubled the gap so by the same logic 
the gap should again double over here so from 44 it should become 88 is it happening uh, 86 plus 88 gives me exactly 174 so that's what is happening over here and that is my logic so I will apply the same logic to 174 also so my gap here was 88 if I double that double of 88 will give me 176 so I should add 176 to 174 and I land up at 350 so this should be option B 350 okay I just just notice the gap between the numbers and in this case we found that the gap is doubling at each stage so I just did that for the entire series let's take a look at one more example of these uh, number problems okay now which comes next in the following series these are both you have even numbers as well as you have odd numbers over here uh, these are also not squares or cubes or you know powers of numbers because it's not a geometric progression so again we come down to the gaps so just notice the gaps between 12 and 18 it's a gap of six numbers then between 18 and 23 the gap is 5 again between 23 and 29 the gap is 6 then 29 and 34 the gap is 5 then from 34 to 40 again there's a gap of 6 then from 40 to 45 again a gap of 5 so I see that it is alternating between 6 and 5 so since the gap between 40 and 45 is 5 the gap between 45 and the next number should be 6 so 45 plus 6 gives me 51 and then again 51 plus 5 will give you 56 so this number fits the number 51 fits in my gap so that is my answer 51 so remember friends to solve problems on number series all you have to do is uh, memorize squares up to 30 memorize cubes up to 10 learn the powers of 2 from 1 to 10 and be scaled at identifying gaps when you see that none of those parameters are working then you evaluate the gaps okay that uh, how are the gaps uh, arranged between the numbers so that takes care of number series and uh, go online or buy some book for practicing these problems and do those because you'll become proficient only with practice um, and uh, the remaining ones the alphabet series and the mixed ones uh, that we'll uh, cover in the next part of this video okay so thanks for joining me in this video friends and i'll see you in part two of uh, this video series thank you